Happy Wednesday! Hello, 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 my lovelies. It is hump day. All right, all right. Here we go. Okay, are you ready? Did you have a good sleep? Well, I've had a good sleep too. So, let's get started. Did you get your coffee on? Do you have your tea? What do you like to drink in the morning? Well, it's morning for me, so I do hope that wherever you're at, whatever part of the day, that you find yourself well and everything's going good. So let's go take a look at what's showing up here. And like I said, this is for the collective, just a general feel good, get you just started with a little, you know, kind of a sneak peek of what are some of the things that we can look out as we move through our day. This is not about hocus pocus. This is just about, let's take a look at what the cards reveal. And you know what? Maybe there's a pearl of wisdom that we can grab from it and just kind of, you know, have a better day for it. Okay, money. It's right in here. Okay. So in the area of money, ooh, the wheel of fortune is upside down. So I'm not going to say that your luck is running out, but you know what? Sometimes we need to do a little bit, be a little bit more realistic about the information. So I'm getting something out here that double check your information. Um, sometimes people want to sell you something and um, maybe they're not being genuine. So it's really important for you to do your homework. And if there's any transaction that has to do with money, it's important that you follow the money. You follow why is somebody trying to sell you this deal. And if you're okay with that transaction, then you might want to consider making those investments. So really important in general, whether you're trading paper, creating paper, writing contracts, make sure that you get all the information. I'm getting a message here about something is something. Someone's going to try and sell you something that um, to their advantage. So maybe not so much in your favor. So kind of play with that. You know what? I'll go ahead and throw one. I'll throw this card in a little bit uh, for the both the career and the the money spot. So let me let's just get through these two cards real quick, and that way you can get started on your day. And um, you know that's how that goes, right? Okay, relationships. So let's see how this is rolling in the area of relationship. Relationship, relationship, relationship. Okay, it's in here somewhere. There's a little guy right here. Okay, what will this card reveal for us in the area of relationship? Okay, wow. Hello. Hello. Looking behind your shoulder. Maybe somebody's trying to, you know, sell you some BS, you know, trying to just you know, kind of tell you, hey, well, this is a good deal, but apparently you're going to need to be very careful, protect yourself, you know, um, because you don't want to be taken advantage of. So get yourself more information. So it may be in relationship to this situation that's showing up, a contract, a deal, uh, parties. I see, I see multiples. So, and definitely they're showing multiple wands here. So uh, somebody's trying to tell you that their plan is a better plan. And uh, so this is just for you to be very careful in that that conversation um, with this person or persons. So it is someone that you've been working with, somebody that you do know. So just be extra cautious. Let's see if it's going to turn into be a, a, a more a closer deal that you might be aware of. But it's interesting, isn't it? Isn't it interesting how sometimes they just kind of work together? It's like, wow, really? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're interested in a personal reading, please visit my website. It's www.fortuneforecast.com. Okay, Korea. Right here. Or if you want to talk, call me up, pick one of those times, and we can hash things over and see what's going on in your life. All right, look at this, the hanged man. 
Hmm. You know, this is about going with the flow. This is about allowing things to happen. Maybe you're very comfortable in this situation. Maybe this is not the time to, you know, make any other moves, but just to play safe where you're at because there's a lot of things happening in the economy. And at this moment, maybe this is a good place for you to kind of hang out for a bit, hangman, right? So, but definitely continue to work on you, continue to do what you can to be a part and to be a part of that team in a very sincere way. Be you. Don't, don't, don't give anything less but yourself to what you're doing. And, and it is okay to just lay low and to stay in this place for a bit until you feel that you've got enough to move forward. So if, if that was the message that some of you, apparently there's a good group of you out there, were thinking about making some moves right now, you may want to do your research, do your homework, make sure that you do, you turn every stone before you make that, that leap. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's, let's take a look at this message here. Okay, what will be revealed? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, mm-hmm. So, rough patch, borrowing money, low on cash, career, hospice healer, no work, reinvention. Mm-hmm. So, definitely be very careful about what is showing up because this is upside down with an you know wheel of fortune is really a lucky card but being upside down it's not so lucky so be careful as i mentioned uh you know maybe somebody's trying to swindle or sell you something that really is not something that will benefit you in the long term and you might be out of pocket to to get yourself into that deal so with the career also kind of you know it says here no work so um, wherever you're at, you may want to kind of hang around till you've really sure about that next move. So give 100% where you're at, but go ahead and continue to do, you know, to look and, and do your homework so that the next move is a better move, whether it's, you know, helps you so that the next move will be one that continues helping you continue to grow. Okay. Let's take a look at well-being. Well, talk about hump day, huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's interesting because that other card said something about borrowing money and uh, you don't want to compromise yourself in any way because then you start feeling um, it just it's interesting how what happens in the physical world to us sometimes does reflect in our well-being and then we feel uh, somewhat like constrained and when you when you when you when you owe people money or you owe them something, it's like somehow there's a string attached to them and then you don't feel 100%. You feel that there's something hovering over you. So definitely, I see this reflecting here. Make sure that whatever it is that you're going to do, that you don't compromise your your health and that you can, you can put everything in as part of your overall plan and that you can manage things and that you are out of those debts as soon as you can, especially when they're with people. Institutions, I can understand you put yourself on a payment plan and you can work that, but then when you have these where you're borrowing money from families and friends, it does not really make you feel good. Even though you try to cover it up, it does not feel good. Okay, let's take a look at 
the collective. The collective. All right, here we go. I feel like well, really mixing it up here. Okay. There we go. It's upside down. Okay. Okay. And this one doesn't even need to be upside down. That's just, we've got the skull upside down. Okay, so it says detox time. Release toxins from your body, mind, and diet. So remember when I told you when you put yourself in a compromising situation, you don't feel good. So figure out a way to detox yourself from negative people, from bad investments, and, you know, so that you can get better health. So, and, and don't rush into things without doing all your homework. So Wednesday... As we move through this, I think that what we did get was a lot of good advice and a lot of, hey, be careful. So move on through your day. Be the best you can be. Be very, very cautious about your hard-earned money and about people trying to take advantage of you. And don't carry these debts physically or mentally that you can't carry. Don't, don't compromise yourself. Find a way and pray. I pray for you, my friend. And so... With that, let's get on through our day. And you know what? Hump day. Hump day. Hey, we're already getting through the month. Well, let's get through the week, right? <laughs> okay, my friends, come back tomorrow and let's see what the cards reveal.